Alrighty. Hello guys. My name is Jackson. I am the host of the Knit in the Grit podcast. Welcome back. This is episode 11? 12? Something like that? I need to double check that. Um, anyways, it is December 22nd. I had every intention of podcasting yesterday, but yesterday was kind of hectic, and so we're doing it today, even though today is pretty hectic too. Uh, Brandon and I leave very early tomorrow morning to go to Memphis. We are driving there with the dogs to uh, go spend Christmas with his family. So I have been up doing laundry. I'm almost done. I need to wash the sheets. Uh, I've been up doing laundry, baking cookies and um been meaning to tidy but that hasn't really happened yet and i still need a pack too but i'm making cookies and so i'm gonna have to get up in a second to go take some out of the oven but um trying to get all of that stuff done because i'm making cookies for his parents but i have a cold cup of tea i wish it was warm and i wish i had more of it but my um if you've been following me on Vlogmas, which I know I've been kind of bad about uploading and it's been a lot of days packed into one like one Vlogmas vlog. Um, anyways, uh, I did get a David's Tea uh, tea Advent calendar and I love it. I had two last year, not sponsored or anything like that, <laughs> but uh, I just really like their tea. And today was a Satsuma Spice Cake tea. And I'm kind of obsessed with it now. But, anywho, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the Knit and the Grit. And I'm also on Ravelry as Jackson Rowe. Uh, there is also a podcast group. Uh, I've been really bad about posting in there, but uh, there is a podcast group. And I will also be linking down below um, to my Ravelry Projects page where you can find all of my projects. They aren't super up to date, but I did take a bunch of pictures the other day and update stuff. So we're getting there. Speaking of cookies, I will be right back. Alright, I am back. That batch of cookies turned out a lot bigger than I thought they were, mainly because I accidentally turned the oven off when I first put them in. Uh, when I turned the timer off from the first batch of cookies. <laughs> uh, what a day. Um, anyways, those are out. 24 cookies done. Probably have another 12 to go. But um, anyways, what are you here for? You are here for the knitting. Um, I do not have any stitching this week. I do have a handful of finished objects, which three of them were gift knits. So I do not have them anymore, but I was smart and thought ahead and did take a little video earlier this week before I mailed them out. So I will be inserting that now. Hi guys. So this is Thinking Ahead Jackson right now. Um, it is the 18th of December and I'm gonna try and post out my Christmas knitting. So I thought I would take a quick little video to put in my podcast that I'll be doing this weekend to talk about what I made. So I made three different Christmas gifts that are all done that um, are for, <sighs> one's for my mom, one's for my sister, and one's for my future mother-in-law. So I really love gift knitting but it does take me a very long time to finish things for others because I'm more self-motivated for things that I'm making for myself which selfish Ugh. but either way I still love making things for people and it makes me really happy to do so so I was really excited and I wanted to do something very special this year so for my sister earlier this year I made her a pair of socks so I didn't want to make her another pair of socks, but um, her current favorite color is like sagey green and um, she gets cold very easily. She's very small and petite and she lives in DC and it gets very cold and very windy and, and just yucky. So 
and she's never she loves hats I think I hope because I made her a hat um, but she always has a hard time finding ones that she likes or that fit her head um, just because they what's popular right now is like a very slouchy hat so um, what I decided to make for her was Petite Knits Oslo Hat, the Mohair Edition. And I did this out of Woolberry Fiber Co. yarn um, in two different bases. So I'm doing her MCN base in the foliage. Um, I think it's Berry Cashmere is the name of the base in the foliage colorway. So that's that really pretty speckly color in the back which is um which has lots of like deep emerald green color speckles and some like um orangey speckles which are really cool i don't know if this will pick up very well on the camera but quit focusing on my face there we go um so it's super duper lovely um merino cashmere nylon so it's really soft to begin with and then i held it with a strand of um Woolberry's um, Surrey Alpaca Lace. So it's Baby Surrey Alpaca and Silk, I believe, is uh, what makes up the Surrey base. And so super duper soft because she does have very sensitive skin. And I was worried that the um, if I held it double with mohair, it would irritate her skin because I have some issues with mohair making me itchy so I'm hoping that holding it with the Surrey alpaca versus a mohair uh, for the fluff factor because there's a lot of fluff look at that it's got a lot of halo going on and I was hoping that would work out better for her skin and be comfortable for her to wear and it looks very tiny this is the adult small size so it fits pretty snug on my head which my head's a little bit bigger I have a very round head and I've got a lot of hair and my sister has a lot of hair but her hair her head's a little bit smaller so I think this will actually fit really really nicely and it's got that uh, double folded brim so it'll keep her ears really really warm and this does, let me move my hair out of the way. So it comes down really nicely. And there's just a little bit of room up here, but not so much that it's like creating a weird little like dome head on the top of my head. So I think that'll look really, really good on my sister. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I think it looks pretty good on me. But, um, but yeah, hence the reason why I'm making myself one. Cause I wanted originally to make this for myself, but I saw these colors and it screamed that I needed to make this for my sister. Forgot to say what color the Surrey Alpaca um, Silk Blend is. That is in the Pudget colorway, um, which is like a much more like soft, sagey teal color. So it really, I think it mutes out the speckling really nicely on the foliage color, but like complements it so nicely and just makes it like that really nice like kind of minty sage color so hopefully she likes this hopefully it fits her really well if she doesn't like it I'm gonna ask her to send it back to me because I will wear it <laughs> and um, yeah super lovely pattern is the Oslo hat mohair edition by Petite Knits and that is the Christmas gift for my sister for my mom I decided that um, I haven't ever made my mom socks. I've attempted to make her things in the past, like back when I was in high school and I never actually finished projects. I was really bad. I started things and just had a really hard time following through. So I'd get bored and want to do something else. And so I'd started her cowl and just like never finished it. So I decided I would design my mom a pair of socks. So these are... Um, Malabrigo's sock yarn um, in the Aguas colorway, I believe. I don't have the tag anymore, so I can't really tell you. But um, there's something on the back here. A little, a little bit of debris. Um, but anyways, so this is kind of 
a crew sock. Um, it's a little bit shorter than what I would normally do for um, socks for myself. But my mom lives in Florida. She doesn't really need socks. Um, she wears socks to play tennis in, but she obviously wouldn't really be wearing these to play tennis in. But, um, so these are more like for wearing around the house. So I thought she would like a shorter cuff. And then I have, um, this cable going down the side. And it's a just little six stitch kind of deal across with a Pico cable and then just like a little regular cable. And uh, it's really, really pretty. So she's got little eyelets along here and then like a regular cable and then an eyelet cable. And I think these are really, really precious. My mom picked out the color so she knows I'm knitting her something but um, she doesn't know what yet. Well, she might have figured it out, but oh well. So that's why I made her. And then um, for my future mother-in-law, I had made another pair of socks and so her favorite colors are pink so I picked out sparkly hue loco yarn that's kind of like doing this cool little micro stripe happening let me put it on the blocker get on there my battery is dying So um, this has the same cable pattern on here but without the little regular cable that I had going on here and it's just repeated three times over the top. Um, and these are really cute. This is Hue Loco's Sparkle Base in the Fight Like a Girl colorway and these ones are a little bit taller and a little bit longer. But um, that's just because my uh, Brandon's mom has larger feet than I do, so um, they had to be a bit longer. So I'm hoping these fit her. I know my mom's socks will fit her because my mom and I have like the same size shoe. But um, Brandon's mom has a larger foot, so I'm hoping these fit. I think they will, and they'll have a little bit of give, so that'll be good. But, um, but yeah. So these are my Christmas gifts. I have the other one done as well for these. Uh, and I wanted to just get a little filming done so that way then I could pop this into the next podcast and get these also mailed out in a timely fashion because I probably need to get these out today or else they're not going to be there by Christmas. And so because then there's my dad's stuff for Christmas that also need to go out. But yeah, that's it. It's my Christmas gift knitting. And we're back. So, uh, those are my three gift knits. They are lovely. I love them very much. And I hope my recipients love them as much as I love them too. Hello, Stella. Oh, we got a little baby. Say hello. My little chicken nugget. Mm. Um, oh, thank you. Um, so anyways, those are my three big finished objects, but I do have two more. They are little. They were quick knits, but they need to get finished. And as I've said in previous podcasts and things like that, um, my future sister-in-law-in-law, uh, Brandon's sister-in-law, who will eventually be we will be related by marriage eventually, um, is pregnant. And so her baby shower is happening right after Christmas and Brandon and I will not be there for it, but um, I was knitting some things for her. Ow! <laughs> oh, why do you gotta bite my fingers? Why can't I just have kisses? Um, she is this little baby, she is 12 weeks old. She's not teething, but boy does she like to bite. I love you, and I wish you just wanted to snuggle and give me kisses all the time. She's so fluffy. But down you go. 
Um, so I had to finish up some gift nets for her. I've shown some of them. Well, I've shown all of them before already. Other than uh, ones that I just cast it on. But, uh, and these are still wet. <laughs> I, I literally cast it off uh, this particular uh, one probably 30 minutes, not 30 minutes, probably an hour ago because I, I have it on a blocker now. So, voila! The second uh, baby sock in the two pairs of baby socks that I was making them is done. It's on a little blocker and stuff just to like kind of get the stitches to even up a little bit. I did these on double pointed needles. Um, so these, this is very damp. I'm hoping they will be dry so I don't have to do something with them while they're still damp tomorrow when we're in the car. But um, yeah, so these are done. These are the new, ev er, the perfect newborn sock. Tab the Gandy wrote it up. It's a really simple, sweet pattern. I did the Rib Virgin. And I have a sparkly pair, which I've shown many a time. Um, so those are done. Sock knits, baby sock knits, done. Socks for other people, done. So I'm really happy about that. And then I wanted to make some baby mittens as well. And I really like the um, acorn mitts by Tiny Woolens. I think it's Tiny Woolens. So uh, I put them on the opposite end of the baby sock blockers that I have um, just so that within you could kind of see these are wet as well and I'm hoping this will help them dry a little bit faster as well, too because it is um, this I did out of Quince & Co. Finch held double to make a DK weight yarn and it's the frost colorway and they're really really precious. There's dog hair on it, of course. Um, super cute. I really, really like these. And just because they're a little bit thicker, I thought it'd be better if I put them on these little sock blockers to kind of help get air into the middle. Even though I don't need them to like stretch out or anything like that. These are really, really cute. And I really like these. I am definitely gonna make more of these. Uh, but in probably adult sizes. Uh, Brandon wants a pair of mittens, he doesn't have any, so I will probably make him, after like the new year and stuff and once I get a little break from the gift knitting, uh, I will probably cast him on a pair of mittens, which shouldn't take too long, and um, they tend to go by pretty fast. I don't have too much of an issue with mittens, even though my selfie mittens from last year that were my Christmas Eve cast on have not been touched since last Christmas. But they're pl I'm planning on bringing those with me and working on them this Christmas. So they will be worked on a little bit. But these are super precious. So these will be going to my future niece. And yeah, so that is it for my finished objects. I'm really excited. It's nice to know I have gotten a lot of things off of the needles. I put a bunch more things on the needles but you know that's that's how this works I love knitting and thus must cast on so anyways on to my works in progress uh, I have not uh, I'm not gonna show this these are my nomadic um, uh, nomadic yarns uh, stripey squad gourd socks I'm not gonna show this because I haven't really worked on them I maybe put a row on them at some point but they have not gotten much love recently with all the gift knitting and the need to get other people's socks done first so and me casting on other other things um but anyways so I made my sister the um petite knits Oslo hat mohair edition because I also wanted to make that hat but um I figured I would make my sister's and I didn't have the yarn for it yet so I casted hers on first no no I did have the yarn for it never mind screw that um I need to get hers done first so I didn't cast mine on so I was like we'll do Allie's first and then we can cast mine on so I have casted mine on Whoop! it's just in a target basket <laughs> almost fell off my lap um so I just have a couple of rows done on 
the brim and I am doing this all of on a bone and she wants to be on a bone. Are you done Stella? Um, anyways, I'm knitting this entirely out of Hey Sister Yarn Co. Um, this is the yarn that I got in the, um, in the last update that they did before they kind of shut down shop. Um, so this is in Drizzle in their Geronimo, Geronimo or Alonzi? I do not remember. It's Geronimo. In their Geronimo base, which is an 80-20, and then, um, their mohair also in Drizzle, which is just perfectly caramel colored. But I have wanted a hat out of this. I've wanted to do the Oslo hat in particular out of Drizzle. I just feel like this is a really good color. It is super warm and it'll look really good on me. So I'm very excited and I kind of realized that I need more hats. Particularly because Stella is little and does not sleep through the night yet. And uh, thus has to go potty in the middle of the night. And we've had some very, very chilly nights to where I've had to grab a hat on the go to take her out to go potty. And it just made me realize that I would like more hats because I haven't had much need for hats um, up until now. Um, I don't usually wear them a ton, but um, since we are kind of in the mountains, it seemed very practical and um, an easy thing to add to my wardrobe. So we are working on this. I have not picked this up in a little bit because I casted this on as soon as I was done with my sister's hat which was a couple of weeks ago and um, since I still had a bunch more gift knits to uh, finish up I kind of put this on hold so that way then I didn't have the temptation of working on other things when um, when I should be finishing up my gift knits so I could get those out on time which should be arriving I hope my gift nets arrive to their recipients tomorrow. Be very nice. If not, Tuesday. They're all in the same box and they're all going USPS priority mail. So, and the cutoff for Christmas delivery was the 21st, so I should be okay. But anyways, I'm uh, really excited to have that hat. I need to work on it some more but it's really simple it's straight sock and that you're just going around and around and around so um very very easy to have when chatting with people so I'm thinking since it's pretty portable um it might be something that comes with me to uh Christmas because we will be with Brandon's parents and um I think we're gonna go see his grandmothers and um, do some stuff with his brother and sister-in-law so we're gonna be around a lot of people so it'll be kind of kind of busy and then there isn't much to show of what I'm about to show you this is in my Jenna Rose bag um, I love this bag it's very very good it's very sturdy um, I have casted on a project I'm not done with the cuff yet <laughs> Um, so when I finished all of my uh, big Christmas knits uh, for adult people, I casted this on because I wanted Christmas socks. So I mean these probably these won't be done by Christmas, but whatever. I wanted more Christmas festive socks. I will wear them throughout the winter. It really doesn't matter because I love Christmas and Christmas movie watching, Christmas decorations will probably stay past Christmas because I kept a Christmas tree up until May. So, um, that's the kind of person I am. Anyways, so I have casted on the snowfall socks. Um, I am endeavoring to knit through some of my Ravelry uh, library. So I have had this sock pattern for a little while. It is by Tabitha Gandy. I like her patterns. 
Um, I want to get her new pattern, the tubular socks, at some point. But um, so I've casted this on. It is just the cuff. Got a little little red three by one cuff that I am doing. Um, the pattern just says three by one rib, but I'm doing it twisted. So um, it is a three by one twisted rib. If I didn't clarify that very well. Um, but yeah, I have a cuff. I have not started the body. I'm not even done with the cuff yet. I think I have. I don't even know how many rows I have left. I think probably about five or six. Um, I'm trying to get better. I, I like a 20 row cuff. Most of my socks do not have 20 rows on the cuff because I get tired, not tired, I get bored of doing rib by about row 50. So I'm guessing that's why we are where we are. I just know I'm not done with the ribbing yet. So um, we're working on that, and this is from a sock set by Bad Wolf Knits. I know her podcast is Bad Wolf Sits and Knits, and um, she's, she dyes yarn as well. <laughs> but uh, over the summer, she had an update that had some Christmas yarn. This took forever to get, but I'm guessing she just got really, really busy. But um, I got the, I think it's the Mr. Grinch. Let me pop this out. Yes, this is the Mr. Grinch sock set. I have a knot. There we go. Um, so it's got these kind of like cranberry red colors with bright speckles of like that chartreuse lime green Grinch color. So um, I thought these would be really fun with the texture. So that's what we're doing. And how can my battery be dying when I had a full battery before I started? Um, whatever. We will go until it dies. Next up is my Habitation Throw. This is by Helen Stewart. I am doing this out of my advent calendar from um, Dragon Horde Yarns and Yarn Cafe Creations, the mother-daughter duo behind Girls in Yarn Cafe um, podcast. And I I didn't start this until like six days into um, December because I didn't have needles. So I'm really behind, but I'm not stressing too much. Um, kind of, it's a, it says it's a throw. I want it to be a shawl. So that's what's happening. And I'm on the fourth colorway. I have all of the other stuff like packaged up. I am going in order of um, advent days. And I really, really like this. This is a really fun and easy pattern. Um, I don't have to have it out in front of me. It will be a giant square. And I just think it will be really, really cozy. This is the Christmas at Hogwarts year three advent calendar so it is based off of the third Harry Potter book and I just really love it it's super squishy it's a ton of garter and it's got these pretty eyelet rows to give it some interest and I just really really I've been enjoying this um, I've been picking it up when Brandon and I are like watching TV and stuff so it's been super nice and then I have, you have seen this many a time, it is my Lululemon bag with my, which also this is in a, a Harry Potter bag that Brandon got me for my birthday. Um, in my Lululemon bag, I have my no frills, no frills sweater that I have uh, slowly been working on. I picked it up the other day because um, I was like, oh, I need to work on the sleeves. And then um, Brandon and I opened Christmas presents, and my parents have gotten me. Hi, Stella. I know you want to eat my sweater. I've gotten me a um, Chowgu interchangeable uh, needle set, which uh, had tiny circumferences and the needle size I needed for the sleeves. And so I have picked the sleeves back up and have been making lots of progress. I've done about three. Um, decreases since I did that yesterday. 
so we're making some progress. I'm not gonna talk too much in depth about this because I have talked a lot about this. But the yarn is Q Loco in her Phyllis sock base in the thick colorway and her mohair silk uh, base with in the snowshoes colorway. So that's kind of it for me in knitting. Um, life has been hectic because we got a puppy. But it's been good. I love her to death. Oh, I'm not done. Never mind. Screw that. I'm not done. I have one more thing. In my knitting Nelly bag. Oh my gosh. I have my uh, first snow mystery knit along socks for the, um, I have to read the pin. The second annual Hey Sister Ugly Christmas Sweater Sock Pattern of 2019. <laughs> um, I got through the first clue. I am two clues behind and I only have one sock done. I also screwed up on the first clue because these little polka dotty things are supposed to be down here too. But they're very, very cute and I really like them. This is, they did do a special dye up of yarn for this knit along. So um, that's really fun. So I, I did buy the yarn off of yet Etsy. Uh, from their shop for the knit along that I am now very behind on but um, this is coming with me to Brandon's parents because these are significantly farther along than my other pair of socks and we're I'm about an inch away from doing the heel flap so but and I'm doing the one that's held with mohair so they are more of a sport weight sock, sport to DK weight. So they are very, very soft and I am very excited to have them done because they will be so cozy. But yeah, okay. Now that is all that I have for knitting. Um, and yeah. So yeah, I kept that pretty short. I'm really proud of myself. But I'm also not showing you all the stuff I haven't been working on, so. Hopefully I can make a really big dent on my current works in progress just so that way then I can clear up some bags and feel productive. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. Knowing me, I, I want to cast on, but I have been fairly good about not buying more yarn, so I my goal for 2020 is to make a big dent in my current knit knitting stash yarn stash um just because i have a lot i have a number of sweater quantities and i want to make more sweaters i just know i've been really slow so go bust through some stash and also my Ravelry library because I've got a bunch of stuff sitting in there that I have bought and never knitted anything of. So that is the goal. But thank you all for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, uh, whatever. Leave a comment, tell me you like it. Um, I've had a couple of people comment on some past videos and they've all been really, really sweet and I super appreciate all of y'all. And um, yeah, I'm mainly doing this for myself, but it is nice to know that other people do enjoy my podcast. But yeah, so thank you. I hope everyone has.